assalamu alaikum welcome to my channel this is rizwana and in this video i am going to explain the sub genres or forms of poetry don't skip the video if you want to know about the genres of poetry in only one video if you are new to my channel subscribe to it press the bell icon and click all option so that you may find the notifications of all my upcoming videos so let's start the first form of poetry that we are going to discuss is black verse black verse consists of unrhymed five stress lines that are properly iambic pentameter but with regular meter it is used in reflective and narrative poems for example Milton's Paradise Lost, Thomson's The Seasons, Young's Night Thought, and it was also used by Romantic and nineteenth century poets. Ode. Ode is a lyrical poem that consists of remarkable length and formality in tone and style. It expresses lofty sentiments and thoughts ode has two kinds the first one is public ode and the second one private ode public ode is used for ceremonial occasions like funerals birthdays and state events for example Ode on the death of Duke of Wellington by Tennyson, and private ode celebrates personal intense and subjective feelings and emotions. For example, ode to a nightingale by John Keats. Sonnet. Sonnet comprises of fourteen lines in iambic pentameters. with considerable variations in rhyme scheme sonnet has further three types the first one is petrarchan or italian sonnet it consists of octave which means eight lines with two quatrains quatrains means four lines eight lines are further broken into two parts with four lines each and the rhyme scheme of octave will be a b b a a b b a and a sestet which means six lines with two tercers tercers means three lines six lines will be broken into two parts having three lines each a sestet has rhyme scheme as you can see here k d e k d e or k d k d k d i am going to make a video particularly on poetic forms poetic terms that we come across while we study the about the poetry so that you may have full understanding of poetic terms Giacomo da Lentino, Dante, and Michelangelo are the poets that used Petrarchan or Italian sonnet. This name was named after the Italian writer Petrarch. The second type is Spenserian sonnet. As the name shows, it was named after edmund spencer it comprises of two quatrains rhyming aba aba baka baka kada kada and a couplet rhyming e e in each quatrain different ideas are expressed and developed then concluded in the ending couplet Shakespearean or Elizabethan sonnet It was named after William Shakespeare 
It is also known as Elizabethan sonnet because this sonnet flourished in the Elizabethan period. It comprises of three quatrains and a couplet. Again, different ideas are developed in each quatrain and concluded in the last couplet, just like Spenserian sonnet. Pastoral poem. It deals with the shepherds and rustic life in an idealized way. For example, Wandered Lonely as a Cloud by Wordsworth, The Passionate Shepherd to His Love by Christopher Marlowe, This Lime Tree Bore My Prison by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. The next one is Heku. It consists of three lines of five, seven and five syllables respectively. It expresses a single idea or image. Some writers, some poets has used Heku very beautifully. For example, T. E. Hume, Astra Pound, Robert Frost, Amy Lowell, and Lovely B. Yates, Astra. Free verse, as the name suggests, it does not follow any regular rhyme scheme and meter. It has no regular line length, no regular stressed and unstressed syllables. Hugo, Baudelaire, Blake, Arnold, Ezra Pound, Walt Whitman, T.S. Eliot, Lawrence and William Carlos are some of the renowned poets of the of free verse. Epic. Epic deals with lofty themes. It is a long narrative poem about the deeds of warriors and heroes. An epic is usually of national significance and embody the history and aspirations of a nation in a lofty manner. Iliad, Odyssey, Beowulf, Paradise Lost, Aenites are some of the important instances of epic. Lambric, a type of light and humorous verse form having five lines with fixed rhyme scheme. A, A, B, B, A. First, second and fifth lines are trimeters while third and fourth are diameters. For example, Edward Lear wrote many line breaks in his book Nonsense. The other poets are Tennyson, Kipling, Swinburne, Stevenson and Gilbert have also experimented with this genre. The next subgenre of poetry that we are going to discuss is ballad. The name was derived from late Latin and Italian ballet, which means to dance. It is a song to tell a story accompanied with dance. Its language is simple, its beginning is abrupt, and some Distinguished works among ballads are Coleridge's Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, Keats, La Belle Dame, Sans Mercy, Wilde's The Ballad of Ridingol, Gilbert's Bab Ballads, Macaulay's Lays of Ancient Rome. Acrostic Acrostic is a poem in which the first letters of each line make a word or words downwardly. You can see in this instance the initial letter of each line makes a word Elizabeth. 
when we read it downwardly. Epistle, a kind of letter in verse form addressed to a friend or patron. The example is Auden's letter to Lord Byron. Blues. Blues are solo Negro folk songs. Blues comprises of three lines, expresses grief, despair, hopelessness and oppression. You can see in this instance from Brown Riverbank Blues, a man get his feet set in a sticky mud bank. A man get this yellow water in his blood. No need for hoping. No need for doing. Muddy streams keep him fixed for good. Narrative poem is a poem that tells a story with plot, setting and characters. For example, The Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer, The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner by Coleridge. Elegy. Elegy is a poem that is written in the memory of dead or decaced person. It generally depicts on the themes of lamentation, loss, sorrow and mourning. For example, what it means, O oh, Captain, my Captain. W. H. Ordens in memory of W. B. Yeats. Hopefully you have learned all about the poetic forms or subgenres of poetry in this video. Like my video, share it with others. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.